guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to another weekly vlog it's currently 4 a.m friday morning and i have not slept at all i've been up packing because we are going to jamaica today guys i'm so excited i haven't been to jamaica in i think three years now like almost three years now so it's been a hot minute to be fair i haven't had a passport so i haven't been anywhere in almost three years but you know that Jamaica had to be the first stop on the list. I put on my 2024 vision board that I wanted to travel a lot this year. So the plans are already in motion, okay? I feel like the goal for this year is to leave the country at least four times. At least. In Jesus' name hopefully i actually don't have an itinerary for this trip which is a little bit concerning so it's very much a figure it out as we go kind of trip but that kind of makes it more fun yeah you guys agree i hope so the only thing set in stone is we know that carnival is on sunday so that's definitely like sunday sting i don't know what's happening on each of the other days though so hopefully by the time i get there today we can actually plan something for my week because i want to make the most out of my trip okay so we'll just see it's gonna be fun nevertheless i'm just i'm excited so right now i'm just finishing packing and then we're going to leave to go to my mother's and then we're going to go to the airport i have been drinking red bull non-stop okay i'm trying not to sleep until my flight because the last time i was on a flight i was going to vancouver and i ended up falling asleep at the airport and missing my flight that was the first time i've ever missed a flight and hopefully the first and only time guys because i was stressed out like i woke up and i was like what the heck is going on thankfully the very nice lady at the airport put me on another flight but i don't even want to think of any alternatives today because i'm making my flight period like i'm making my flight i'm getting on board we're making our flight god willing we're making that flight today okay another thing is my house is a mess right now and i don't have the mental or physical capacity to clean it okay and i feel so bad for my future self like future self i'm so sorry i'm so sorry because you're going to come back to a messy house which is probably just the worst feeling ever but I'll make it up to myself. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'll make it up to you. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I gotta put myself first. I gotta put myself first. I'm gonna finish packing everything up and then I'll see you guys at the airport. Officially, well almost officially not miss my flight okay i haven't fallen asleep which i'm hoping that i sleep on the plane because if i don't sleep on the plane i'm going to be exhausted but we'll see i'm going to get some food before i go on the plane because i haven't eaten and didn't make it but we made it okay i remember the last thing i was telling you guys was oh i'm definitely making my flight i'm not missing this flight in jesus's name no in jesus's name i did not miss the flight but it was it was a guys what had happened was after i talked to you guys i went packed up all my stuff went to the bathroom got my food and i went to the gate and you know i gave them my passport yada 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 i'm walking down the aisle to like go into the plane and i realized that i don't have my camera bag and my camera bag has all my equipment so i had my camera with me but i didn't have like my lens my batteries my lights all that stuff i basically packed up everything that i normally 
would need to film including on my mics like my expensive mics i didn't know if i would need them here but i brought them just in case like i just packed everything up and brought them with me and so as i'm walking down i'm like wait i'm missing a bag so i turn around and i'm like where's my camera bag so i run back and i'm like hey i just left something can, can i go like hurry up and like pick it up and the guy's like okay go so i run i go back to where i was sitting it wasn't there i go back to the bathroom it wasn't there i go back to where i got my food it wasn't there so now i'm freaking out i'm like hold on now hold on hold on now where is my bag so i run back to the gate and i'm like at this point i'm freaking out like i'm ready to like cry i'm like hello like i can't find my bag i really need the bag like i can't just leave it like I don't know where it is like can somebody please help me so i'm like how long do i have he's like yo the plane needs to like you like you need to get on the plane right now so i'm like sir i need my bag i need my bag i need my bag so he goes go back and look for it like we'll wait so i run back i'm looking everywhere i'm like asking people nobody knows where it is so i go back to the gate again and at this point they're like hey you have to just leave it so i'm like i can't leave my camera bag with like all my equipment like I'm not leaving the bag <laughs> they're like either you go on the plane or you don't go on the plane and you stay here and you look for it but like the plane has to go so i'm like guys okay let me like think rationally here what other flights is there like are there any other flights today no he goes there's another flight tomorrow i'm like okay how much is the flight tomorrow we don't know so i'm like okay like what can i do like what what should i do here like i'm like asking questions i'm like asking for help nobody's helping me gets to a point where they're yelling at me and i'm like guys i dead ass almost pissed myself in the airport okay hyperventilating about to cry i'm like hello please like can somebody just help me and this nice little god sent angel okay there was one man there that was actually helping me long story short we found out that some security guard took it and brought it to the lost and phone and no thanks to that security guard because it could have been somebody else that found it but i feel like they didn't even give me a chance to find it myself like i went to the gate realized that i lost it and came right back like that was within like less than five minutes so the fact that i came back and it wasn't there within five minutes like y'all grab that up with the quickness anyways we're here the camera bag is still in toronto my mom went and picked it up it's going to be a little bit harder like a little bit more complex for me to film because i don't have all my extra batteries and stuff but honestly everything happens for a reason okay because i think if i had brought down all of my like really expensive equipment and anything happened to them i would be really sad so at least i know that they're safe my mom has them and right now i have like the essentials so it's officially my second day here i didn't do much when i actually got here yesterday because i was still shaken up okay on the flight i was crying i slept and then i woke up and i was here so i was like okay like it's fine we didn't do much i saw my best friend and we went to dinner but that's about it i decided to rent a car i drove here for the first time yesterday guys like i've never driven because i got my license when i moved to canada so i've never driven in jamaica and yesterday was the first time that i did it wasn't too bad but to be fair i was driving really late at night so like nobody else was on the road but i decided that i'm going to rent a car so that I can actually get around because I feel like with everybody's schedule right now it's hard for me to actually do anything without a car I'm getting ready for the gym right now because I'm going to get myself a membership for a week I have not worked out like the week leading up to me coming here guys like my week was so hectic coming in that I did not get a chance to go to the gym so I was like I don't want to come here and then not work out for another week because then that's like a whole two weeks of not working out and I'm going to feel like Ugh. So I'm going to get myself a week pass at this gym and get moving. I can barely move 
ask about me, man. I'm gonna bust the move. Yeah, yo, Reed James, 33 chains, baby. Oh, Chanel, man. Cruising this gang, big fun. Top bump, God. That's a liability, man. Hit the gas, man. Who's the Maya Driller, big fun. Percocet, yeah. Molly Percocet, big fun. Percocet, yeah. Molly Percocet, big fun. Represent, yeah. Got a Hi guys, I'm in a rush. It's carnival day and uh, I'm running late. So I'm going to do my makeup real, real quick. I am. I'm convinced I have a whole different skin type in Jamaica. Like, I feel like my skin acts so much different. Because in Canada, my skin is like dry. But here, I be getting oily and my makeup is like slipping off my face. So clearly I need to learn how to do makeup differently in two different countries. I feel like I'm doing this in the wrong order, but it will, it, it will come together in Jesus' name. Would you like to say hello? Hello. Thank you. I actually haven't even tried on my costume as yet. So I'm really, really hoping that it fits. Because if it doesn't, I don't know. I don't know. It's so hot. So hot. I'm going to try adding like some red. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. So just. Let's just not. Okay? I feel like that doesn't look too bad. But I also like can barely see because the light. I feel like it doesn't look bad because my lashes block it anyways. So it just looks like a nice little hint of red. Which is very cute. Hey Siri. What time is it? Mm -hmm. It's 9.39 a.m. Okay, period. I should have curled my hair from last night. I didn't think about that. Well, I'm not trying to make it perfect because I also don't have time to make it perfect. So we're just gonna do a slight wave just so that it has some bounce, I guess. I don't know. Morning guys it's Monday and it's my first actual like normal day here I still haven't figured out my actual itinerary for the week but I do know that I have a lot of work to get done I have to do some client work and I also have this group project for school due tonight so I'm about to go to a cafe and get all of that done but just super quick about carnival there's obviously not that many clips because I couldn't take my camera on the road but guys it was so hot like i don't even know how to explain <laughs> and it wasn't just me it wasn't just me it wasn't like oh my god i'm used to like canadian cold or anything like that like no guys it was extra 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 hot and i was like you guys do this every single year just out in the sun burning up burning up like my skin was tingling the way how the sun hot like it was so hot <sighs> overall though the experience was good it was okay i wish i had played more of the songs that i like because i feel like there were so many songs that i really really liked and i wanted to hear but i didn't really hear it i don't know overall i'd rate the experience maybe a seven out of ten will i be back duh but like <laughs> i think the heat really just took off so many points for me because it was hot but guess what it's only getting hotter guys because global warming so it might just be worse next year i don't know but overall lovely experience that was my first time going to carnival by the way so it was it was a good first time i think and hopefully the first of many because so i'm about to go to this cafe and then i think when i'm done i'm going to get food 
possibly with my friend possibly alone we'll see what her schedule is looking like so god really said girl you're not going to that cafe right now because why did i get a flat tile i don't even know what i hate i think i hate a curb or a pothole or something and the tire is effed up okay uh somebody's helping right now hence the shaking of the car thankfully this guy saw me pull over on the side of the road and he like did a big u-turn and came and helped me so he's helping me right now but the rim is kind of effed up i'm going to put a picture because i took a picture of it um the rim's messed up so i don't know what's going on but this is why you get insurance guys i made sure to get insurance and look at that and i was like yeah i'm going to drive safe and stuff but jamaican roads you never know the moment i started to feel like a real pro on the streets i got overly confident and that's my problem I got overly confident. Y'all, he changed that tire with the quickness. With the quickness. Okay, we are back on the road, period. I was stressed out, but we're fine. Period, period. God will always provide, okay? You see how he just randomly sent somebody to come and change my tire for me on the street? I was all alone and stranded and he told that man to stop. God is so good. so the cafe closed but i still have a lot to do with my group assignment which this is the issue when you go on vacation in the middle of the school term or school semester because then i'm just trying to vibe but I have all these things due, which is an issue, but that's fine. <laughs> I still have a little bit to complete in my part, so I'm going to dinner and I'm just gonna pull out my laptop and do work while we're at the table because I need to get this up by like nine. Wait, what time is it? Wait, because there's a time difference. Hey Siri, what time is it in Toronto? It's 8.22 p.m. in Toronto, Canada. Okay. I need to get this up ASAP because 11.59 there is not gonna be 11.59 here. It's okay, I can do it. I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. I should have done it from last week, but I can do it now, it's fine, it's fine. We're going to this place called Tamarin. I told her that I wanted Indian food and she said this place has like a mix of a bunch of different things. So we'll see what we get, but I think I want butter chicken because I've been craving butter chicken. I'll show y'all what it looks like once I'm in there, but I'm just waiting for her right now. Then we'll get going. So hi people. Hi people. Introduce yourself. Um, I'm Kiki Kicks. <laughs> You're literally the only person who calls me that. Slay. Slay. I'm Kicks, and I'm here with Big Booty Judy. Mm-hmm. We're about to chow down. Did you do your work? No. I'm trying to do work. Good morning guys. I'm going to the gym really quick because I have to get back here to pick my brother up to drop him off to the airport because he's leaving to go back to New York today. Then after that I should be doing something. I told you guys I was going to figure out an itinerary and I have a very loose plan but I have no clue what's happening if I'm being for real. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I promise you guys next time I'm going to come more prepared okay next time I'm going to have all my camera equipment next time I'm going to come and bring a phone mount for this car because obviously I wasn't really planning to drive like I rented this car last minute so I don't have anything to attach the 
camera to the car these roads are rocky okay like if i was supposed to just leave the camera right here you guys would be sliding everywhere okay let me try okay you guys see what i mean with the rocky roads like look at this i'm dead okay maybe i can try i feel like i'm shaking like crazy right now okay you guys are sliding around oh my goodness you see what i mean let me hold the camera <laughs> Also, my camera is overheating. Like, every, all of my devices are overheating. Like, it's so hot. It's not even funny. I'll see you guys at the gym. The sun only show up for you because it only look good because you're here right now. Guys, we're at Devon House now. We're going to go get some ice cream and some patties. You know that they don't give you forks for the patties? Every time I go for a patty, I want a fork. And they're like, no. At Tell me about your carnival experience, actually, because I was talking about it. Like, I rated it probably like a 6, 7 out of 10. For me, I don't, I don't usually have expectations for anything like this. And I realized that I didn't really care too much or like have too much expectations when I was not interested in waking up early mm. to do a full beat and to go walk around in the sun with alcohol. Okay, to be fair, I didn't plan to wear my feathers on the road. I wasn't gonna wear my backpack, but I planned to wear mine and no. she was like, absolutely not. And as soon as I put mine on, I said, okay, this is not going on the road. No. And she went out on the road in her feathers. Yeah, but That's because crazy. I didn't get, as I said, I didn't wake up early. To do anything and i didn't get good pictures because the sun was basically not in the right place anymore for Same, nice pictures. that's why my picture is like i only got one good picture because the sun was like so yes, above like, me yeah literally <laughs> so it's literally above me just shadow window my face so i, I wear my like, feathers how hot was it probably like 32 degrees 32 degree weather crowded and not drunk it was a it was an experience but i think like we I would definitely do it again. Yeah, I would do it again, but better. Yeah, like, there's a whole bunch of stuff I do differently. Yes, yes. I definitely pre-game if I'm not gonna be there early. I'm drunk from before I get there, not wearing the um, feathers. And I realized I'm not a makeup girl. I would have loved to just go out bare-faced as fuck. Everybody's makeup was melting. It, like I was like helping people like tap their makeup in because it was literally like melting off their forehead. Like not everybody's makeup was melting. I'm like, you guys are paying however much money to get your makeup done just to have it melt off on the road no but like they get, get nice pictures, pictures. Yeah, to get that's nice the only pictures, reason right? i did it i was like no i want to look bomb like i want to have on a costume and then my face is like up to par you know what i mean we love a bare face but like you know every once in a while it's nice to have a little beat we didn't even finish the march when yeah, we got to new left. kingston we left <laughs> and then we went to popeyes away. and had a blast after that if you can call it a blast <laughs> Still never get drunk. They don't and we still not drunk. It was but that's okay. It was an experience. Next year. Yeah. I'm feeling vibes on vibes. I'm freaking dynamite. I blow your gun. To go to the, all the same school. Yes. Since like we knew each other before grade three, no, no, like we never knew each other before grade three, but we switched schools at the same time, but we didn't know each other. So then when we moved to the new school, we instantly found each other because she was new and I was new. Because I kind of knew her, like I knew of her. So our old friend told me that she was going to um the same school that I was going to. So when I saw her, I was like. 
yeah. and then she waved back, and then we we're just friends. Yeah. Literally, we're Besties. the only two new girls yeah. in the class. Yeah. Grade three, grade four, grade five, grade six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, one, two, three, four, fifteen, fifteen years. Yeah. 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 That sounds about right. <laughs> 15 years, 15 years of friendship. But, and we've really only touched like a handful of times. Jamaican people literally drive like they have nine lives. It's crazy. I feel like it's too shaky. I have to hold the camera. Oh my goodness. Good morning, guys. I'm going to lunch with my brother right now. We're going back to Devon House and we're going to this place called Steak House. I've never been, but hopefully they have good food. I haven't even looked at the menu. But today when I was getting ready, I was brushing my lashes and so many of them were falling off. First of all, I woke up and there was like five lash fans, probably even more, just on the bed. And then I was getting ready, I washed my lashes, I brushed them, and they were just falling out one by one in the sink. And I was like, oh my goodness, I need to go home. And by home, I mean Canada, because I need to go back to my lash tech. I miss her. Funny enough, my lash tech is literally in Jamaica right now too, but <laughs> once I get back, I'm, I'm straight in her chair because I need my lashes done ASAP. I don't know how many times I went to complain that it's hot. I'm just not used to this, like, Canada will like you'll never see a 30 degree day in Canada maybe like high 20s but 30 and 30 isn't even that bad like it's normally like 32 plus like I'm hot and I hate to sound like I'm Canadian because I'm not well I am technically but I hate to sound like a Canadian ass girl but guys it's hot like every day I'm just blasting AC or I have to have a fan like it's actually crazy how do you guys do this every single day this is concerning. Less people, less problems, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just left lunch with my brother and I'm going back home to then leave again to get frozen yogurt with my friends and then I'm going to dinner so today is clearly just a food day like I'm just eating I'm just running around everywhere and eating constantly something that I low-key hate about Jamaica is that you cannot get water like if you go somewhere in like Canada and you're like, hey, can I have a water cup or just like a cup of water? Then they'll give it to you. But like here you have to buy bottled water. And they're selling, depending on where you go, they're selling bottled water for like $300. Which is like three-ish dollars, but still $3 for a bottle of water is crazy. You can get a case of water for like $3. There's just all these little things that I forgot about. Let me fix you guys. And uh, coming back here, I'm like, damn. Also, drive throughs in Jamaica take forever, okay? Like, I, I, I really just forgot about all these things. Because, like, you'll go to, like, a drive through in Canada and you'll get through, like, super quick. Like, you'll get through within, like, five minutes or less. drive throughs in Jamaica, you could be sitting there for ages, okay? These people take forever. Jamaica's just a slow country. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm low-key ready to go home, mainly because I want to do my lashes, but I'm low-key ready to like get back on track. I feel like I'm out of routine and I don't love being out of routine, but it's not that bad because I still can like, you know, go to the gym and do stuff, but like I haven't been able to do as much work as I want to do, which makes sense because like I'm on vacation, so I shouldn't be doing too much work, but still, you know, I'm looking forward to going back home because I have so many things planned. Like I spoke about it before in one of my last videos, I was talking about like making like a little becoming that girl, 
either like a series or just like a vlog i feel like it's going to take a while so there's going to be different aspects of things in my life that i'm going to be focusing on so it might be a little series i want to do like a becoming that girl when I say like that girl <laughs> I didn't talk about it that much the last time so I'm gonna talk about it a little bit more now basically like kind of just organizing my life I want to reorganize my apartment I don't love the way that my apartment looks right now just in different aspects like I want to organize my kitchen I want to like things are organized they're just not as organized as I want them to be so yeah I want to organize my kitchen I want to decorate my living room like finally finish decorating that I want to finish decorating my bedroom like my bedroom right now is just my bed like I need like at least a side table so many other things i need to do like internally externally all that good stuff so i'm looking forward to going back home so i can actually get started on that because there's a lot to do and i'm excited to like make the videos and stuff so that if you guys are looking to like make any transformations or anything like that hopefully it helps in some way and we can kind of do it together is this person trying to come in go ahead Jamaica people don't even use indicator like them just pushing like okay go where you want to go Jesus tonight I'm meeting a friend that I haven't actually met in person but we always like engage with each other online and I think she's a very cute person <laughs> so I was like hello I'm coming to Jamaica can we go on a little daily date she was like yeah so I was like okay so we're going to dinner and hopefully that's nice and fun i think we'll click i'm always nervous meeting new people but like i think we'll be okay have you guys been slipping and sliding i'm so sorry yeah i think we'll click because we click online so hopefully we click in person she seems sweet so guys we just um we ate and on ports it was i'll give it like a, a seven out of ten same same okay i had a salad she had some some shrimp and shrimp and kalaloo. Kalaloo. <laughs> <laughs> and it was good it was great mm -hmm. yeah the drinks were strong mm -hmm. that's okay like, like, that's why kind of like <laughs> <laughs> good night good morning guys we're going to ochi i don't we still don't know what we're doing as yet but i want to go to the beach so we'll see how today goes i'm about to go pick up kendra and then we'll be on our way little road trip crazy your girl is back home i'm browned very much brown as i should be i kind of like this it's cute some quick things about my trip i don't know if you guys noticed but i did not cook at all like i ate food from my dad like my dad made food here and there and i would have like breakfast at home but i mainly ate out and that was expensive not only expensive but also not sustainable like i can't be going out and eating food every single day so next time i go i'm definitely going grocery shopping and buying food <laughs> i'm cooking at home i'm also 100 percent renting a car i think renting a car was my best decision like i was scared because obviously i didn't think that i could drive there but now that i know that i'm capable and i can do anything that i put my mind to I'm renting a car a hundred percent and I'm going with an itinerary okay because I feel like when you have limited time you can't just be like oh well I'll just go with the flow no you have to have 
like a plan like the limited time will fly i promise you like the time will fly so i need to go with a plan i need to go with a car i need to go and get groceries those are just like three things that i'm definitely going to do differently next time i'm not mad this time just because everything worked out and everything was fine and like i don't mind eating out because it's my first time back in three years i'm going to eat some good food you know what i mean but like going back constantly definitely i need groceries guys look how big he is He's huge. He's a whole loaf right now. Are you liking me? Oh, thank you. I left for a week and I came back and he's just, he's a big boy. You're a big boy. I really, really hope you guys like this video. First of many Jamaica vlogs to come because I told you guys I'm traveling this year and I'm going back at least a couple times. So I really hope you guys enjoyed a little glimpse of my life out of Canada. And remember to like and comment and share and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in my next video. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>